Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Colin Hunziger, and the three topics we are going to be going over today is student athletes and school, the importance of team chemistry, and why do people play sports. So, talking about student athletes and school, basically the main things that I wanted to get at were the balancing of a lifestyle outside of school when it still involves schoolwork for a student athlete uh, such as myself. Uh, it's kind of hard to balance doing all your work, getting it done on time, and at least the right way so you can maintain, um, I would say, good grades, you know, passing grades at least. And also being able to go to practice every single day before or after school, having games two or three times a week after school as well. Um, Especially with extracurriculars like clubs like FCA, FBLA, and other things like that that you do not have to be in regardless of who you are, but you devote your own time to it. So uh, it's just kind of hard to explain, I guess not really the stress, but the pressure of making sure everything is done. And you also want to make sure that you show up on time to all your practices, all your meetings for other extracurricular activities. Um, Make sure all your schoolwork is turned in on time and done the right way to where you're going to get a passing grade and not just a passing grade. Athletes are expected to excel in school, which is, that's good. You know, everyone should be expected to. But it's just that much harder when you have all those extra things going on that could slow you down. And it's not that it slows you down, it's that it takes up so much of your time that you don't already have. Like, uh, so my schedule right now, I wake up around 6 in the morning, I get to school around 7.45, we get out at 3 o'clock, I stay at school, we have practice from 3.30 to 6 most of the time, or to 5.30, so I get home around either 6 or 6.30, and then, you know, gotta get my homework done, shower, eat supper with my family, and by that time, it's probably 8 o'clock, and then I get all my homework done, and then it's, then I have time to do the things that I want. So, above everything, it's probably hardest to prioritize the things that you need to get done as a student athlete, as opposed to what you want to get done. And I feel like that just makes you that much stronger mentally and that much of a better student and a player. Because when you can discipline yourself to do everything that you're expected to well and with adversity, people are going to respect that and it's going to be a better look on yourself. So kind of going to mix the next two topics here, or I guess student athletes in school with team chemistry. When you have a whole group of guys that get along really well, or girls, depending on you know, what gender sport you're playing here, women, men's basketball, things like that, um, they all get together and obviously every day for practices and stuff, and you have to communicate. Communication is the biggest thing in sports. Um, it's probably overlooked if you don't play. But it can easily be translated outside of sports. One of the biggest ways I would say is probably team members hanging out and bonding outside of practices and just having the ability to be close and good friends and mesh well together outside of practice and come into practice and be able to do all that and work hard towards a common goal. Again, like I said, meshing the two, all while being able to maintain good grades and do all the things that you're expected to do and more. So when you have our school, per se, we've had the same group of kids playing the exact same sports from the time we played t-ball to our high school baseball team now. has got the same seven or eight or so kids on it. Same with football, same with basketball. And we've always done the same things together. Like We've always been a pretty close-knit group. And it shows uh, we have more or less perfected the art of bonding outside of practices because a lot of us on the team are just friends outside of sports. I mean, we met well before sports became pretty much our whole life in high school. So that's a whole other conversation we can get into. But yeah, I mean, that's having a close team is going to lead to less fights, not physical altercations, the arguments and misunderstandings. It's going to allow everyone to be 
feed off of each other's ideas without question. You know, you trust everyone. You're close and comfortable with everyone. So it just makes it a little easier. And it's just communication is easy. Everyone trusts everyone. So it's just easy to rely on someone else to pick up when someone else isn't doing their job. And I suppose looking at it now, we can connect why do people play sports to student athletes in school? Sports will absolutely make you do better in school if you want to play sports at a serious level. Not serious as in Division One. I'm talking just high school and making high school teams. Each team you're going to play on in high school is going to require you to have good grades, at least passing grades, and that's going to motivate some kids that usually wouldn't do very well in school on their own account to do a little bit better, and it's going to teach them prioritizing, discipline, things like that. That's going to carry over to the adult world. And a lot of people just overlook that, but I mean, myself, whenever you get a bad grade, you know, you're stressed out, especially during football season. Coach Allen is great about keeping us in line in the classroom. Um, Behavior, if there's a behavioral issue, the whole team runs for it, which, you know, understandable. Because the way the coach sees it is that it wasn't just an individual. It was a Clark County football player. And we're all Clark County football players if you're on the team. So we're going to get punished because of a football player. So that right there is going to build trust and help us keep each other in line as far as behavior goes. And it's individual with grades. So if you have an F, there's a whole lot of running you got to do. If you miss practices, there's a whole lot of running you got to do. If you miss practices unexcused, For a lot of times, there's very much running. So, all in all, what this leads back to is discipline. And that can be in the classroom, behavior, discipline, going to practices and showing up places. um, And just kind of learning to respect people. There's always going to be designated leaders on teams. And it kind of teaches you your place uh, as far as it goes in sports. So, when I was a freshman, we had a lot of good seniors, and you had to learn how to take criticism, and you had to learn how to get bossed around and pushed around and told what to do, and that, it was great. It helped me, because that's their job as leaders. So, a lot of kids coming in that have never done things like that before, they're going to get, not necessarily bullied, but kind of pushed around and told what to do by an upperclassman who's a leader and with time that's going to carry over you know when you're a freshman to a senior you're going to pick up on things that the seniors did when you were younger you're going to pick up on ways to encourage your teammates or tell them what they did wrong without upsetting them and it's just going to make everyone a lot better and a lot more willing to work hard on account of someone else that you're close to giving you instructions but yeah all three of those topics can kind of be seen as one if you really want to put it that way so when it comes to student athletes in school you know it teaches you how to prioritize things how to work hard at the things that are expected of you and exceed expectations for not only yourself but the people around you team chemistry those are going to be the people that are helping you do better and exceed expectations those are going to be the people that expect things of you and push you to do well and those are going to be the people that you trust and that are going to be the ones that you want to see you succeed and they're going to want to see you succeed so it's just motivating the whole way around why do people play sports to have an experience like that to help themselves i feel like that is the biggest thing the reason people play sports to me and the reason i've always done it is to help myself i have learned a lot in playing sports probably more than i will in some class I take and don't pay any attention to just because that's how my brain works you know I love sports so I'm going to pay a lot of attention to it and take it seriously I learned how to be coached I learned how to become a leader I learned how to be led I learned how to follow instructions give instructions and probably the biggest benefit of all is I learned how to take care of my body and my mind when things get hard Um, sports will teach you a lot of good mental habits to get into to relieve stress and take care of yourself when things are not looking the best in physical shape it bettered me as 
a person and a physical being because I'm in better shape. I'm stronger. I'm quicker. I'm just a little bit better than I would have been if I didn't play sports a lot better. So I feel like all three of those are very important within each other. You can't have one without having another. With all that being said, that is all I have for this week's podcast. Thank you for listening.